previously on the Bastard Executioner. <laughs> no! Oh, it's mine! It's mine! There are nine scriptures. Jesus, son of Joseph. That is why Robinus and his army pursue us. Here's Gaveston shall be cast out and exiled. And it is my mission for both God and country to make certain that his third banishment be his last. If my men could deliver Gaveston, might that beg compensation? Your source, Chimlin. The twin maidens. Gaveston's half-sisters and conspirators. Your mother's taken ill, boy. A good priest will care for you. It's time to travel, good soldiers. Justice waits in the marshes. Joseph cleaned up. Seeing to our morning meal, Maddox. Your appetite's not my concern. Well, this is exhilarating, is it not? Band of skilled soldiers on a mission to capture a French traitor. Risking all to save their shire. Perhaps someday they'll sing songs of our bravery. And it will be a short and clumsy tune. If it was sour notes and harsh rhymes. Oh, you're such a pretty for a girl, you? You have a way with them. It is the old slop that makes these girls happy. And the other animals. The brutes who bind me. What makes them friendly? Their tempers are nothing I tend to. You are very wise. And such a kind of face. May I have a better look? Like an angel. No. Although I will have wings someday. Of course you will. Ash. Ash. May I ask a favor? Ash, the angel. My ties pull so tightly after yesterday's ride. I can barely feel my hands and feet. Might you loosen them a bit? Allow the color to return. Yay. If you promise not to run away. Of course. prisoner. You are restrained because of your misguided rage. But no one other than the priest, my maiden, and Wilkin know of this. Wilkin? Yes. That is the name of the man claiming the identity of your husband, Gawain, who I've learned was killed in the same battle as my husband. Killed? I doubt my lady would try to lay claim to a dead man. Gawain Maddox was slain in battle. You opened your heart to save a stranger, claiming he was your husband. You took that risk, hoping to create a better, kinder family. But the grip of that illusion must be broken. You are the one in need of breaking illusion. I know my, my husband. Stop. You have two choices, woman. If you stay lost in this distorted dream, you will face the claim of assault on a baroness. No one will believe what you say about Wilkin and myself. It will be taken as the madness of a tortured woman. 
You will be put to death, and your children turned over to servitude. Let that harshness settle in you, Decimi. Use it to tear down the wall between you and God's truth. They have the priest. They took an innocent. The boy. No more. He is fortified with faith. The pain just strengthens that. Tend to his wounds. Nourish him. Then I will begin my work. Yes, Master. Sirs! Sirs! The maiden. She worked at Vine Street. She's gone. How? I was out gathering grass for the steeds. Who tied the wheat vines? I did. Jacqueline. She may have had others aid her escape that will all us to. Yes. We need to make haste to Pembroke's Manor. Four knights hold the front, change at the hour. Perhaps keeping more sizable forces within. Yeah. Are we to know they hold the Frenchman? Yes, there. I can smell the arrogance. The door on the north side is fortified. Wagons block the entry. This is the only English. Seems our fugitive twin has yet to find her way here. There's no sign of readiness. Yeah. We need to get a better sense of their true number. Draw them out somehow. Sorry, this is Bernadette. We met at the stream. Lovely girl. Not much of a talker, which I have to admit, I rather like. It's the desire of every man. A beautiful silent though. <laughs> Hold her. Ah, yay. Good night. 
I come bearing fresh meat. I trap these woods. I see that you have many hungry men within. Not enough mouths to feed on a full cow. Ah, then smoke the rest. She's thick with fat. Keeps till winter. Sounds like Pembroke travels with no more than half a legion. Not to call attention to the transport of an exiled noble. Crafty trapper. We move off in the morning, but the steward will take it to travel. Tie her up with our spare steeds. <coughs> Yay. That seems best. Hey there. We will take your game, trapper. I'm afraid my girl doesn't much care for the company of horses. They turn her innards, spoil her meat. Good day. I'm sure you must be hungry. Where are my children? The baby's with my maiden, and the priest looks after your son. He cannot eat with hands bound. like a child. Yes, or oh, not at all. You spoke of two choices. truth in this matter. Acknowledge that Wilkin did not betray you, for he is not your husband. If you convince me that you are able to do that, then there will never be mention of your attack. And I will see to it that you, your son and daughter, will always have a home and work here in Ventureshire. Oh, good night. My little brother often gets attached to the things we trap. How many others in your trapper family? Just me and Alfred. I may be half-witted, but you're half-hearted. Bernadette doesn't like horses. She thinks I'm filthy. The beasts do not talk. Yeah. Give some consideration. He took a mule kick to the head while just a babe. <laughs> yes, he is indeed, Bernadette. Father did the same thing. That's why mother left. Said what? What did that doe say about me? Leave the beast and be off with you both. Yes, sir. Take a slice of the throat. <laughs> All the dead ones. 
Pull down their bridges. I'm gonna kill you, strip you, then cut off all their cocks and stuff them in your mouth. Then leave you at the door to be found by noble guests. The law, it will inspire. <laughs> Yay, the naked knights with the cock stuffed mouth. <laughs> it's mad! And without honor! That is the level I am playing. Chop the meat. No! No! Sorry to intrude on your supper. How? Oh, uh, what is this corvette, huh? No need for worry, my dear Piers. <laughs> we are here to rescue you. I am impressed with your fortitude, Renaud. Those years in armor slaying Normans has served you. My bygone military service is not what gives me strength, Archdeacon. Should I call you master? So choose, Rosula. Ah. <laughs> I see that the Seraphim have shared their interpretation of history. Am I allowed the same courtesy? The Order of the Seraphim carry and protect dangerous and heretical gospels. If these scriptures were to become known, they would create chaos and unimaginable strife. I've read some of these scriptures. They are not heresy. The only chaos it might stir would be within the walls of the Pope's chambers. The next time you take a walk through your village, Look in the eyes of your followers. Can they trust their free will? They have a right to know the truth. You know as well as I do that these people are ignorant and lost, driven by fear and fantasy. Our church gives these simple believers a sound moral structure, a divinity they can understand. Money and influence are needed to provide that foundation. Even if that foundation corrupts the very teachings of the man at the center of our faith, the seraphim are misguided zealots. They would undermine a thousand years of God's work. The Rosula has a divine purpose. We must stop the seraphim and destroy these scriptures before they destroy our faith. You can help me do that, Runa. Please, tell me where the woman and Templar are hiding. Countless souls rest in your hands, good priest. Go home, my lovely. Apologies for rousing you from your lovely, dark slumber. Who are you? And by what banner do you seize my home? The banner of justice. We are sent by neither noble nor crown. What are your intentions, sir? Good knights. A bound criminal. What is there to be confused about? What do you intend to do with our honored earl? I swore to the king that no harm will befall St. Galliston. I lead the prisoner safely out of England. He travels like no prisoner I know. I'm relieved that now you see the foolishness of your oath. And I thank you for willingly giving us his head. Any harm put to Garrison will fall threefold on all of us. Not if His Majesty knows, but a shrouded truth. You were attacked. Bandits. And they felled your legion and took your goods and your noble prisoner. And then vanished into the swampy darkness. Edward is not a fool. That is a sentiment that stirs debate. I cannot give way to any of this. 
My loyalty is to Edward, not to the barons who conspire against him. Well, that settles me, I mean. Your mistress is quite beautiful. I can understand why you risk rank and privilege to be with No! No! Punisher. Ready your tools. Torture his hall. Slowly. Make the loyal Lord Pembroke witness her plan. No! Be still, be still. <laughs> your learned punisher skills are your service to Lady Love and Shire. To punish the guilty. The mistress is a play in our game of war. We do not play your game. If you need to wrap it in reason, then take it to task for adultery. A whore who violated a marriage bed. And when we return to Ventrishire, do we punish all the nobles who do the same? Chamberlain, I dispatched one of our horsemen to inform the Earl of Warwick of our progress. Good. Now dispatch yourself out the door. Yes. Sign. Apply the mistress with pain till Pembroke gives way to our need. And I will let you both complete your vengeance. If our Reeve and Sir Luck should meet an untimely death, I will assume it was but a risk of their sworn duty. Only you, Corbett, will use death to buy pain. leave the widowers of West River Riding to make a decision. Do you love him? Knowing my feelings will not serve you in this decision. Do they serve you? Punisher or not, this Wilkin is still but a freeman, and you're a baroness. Yes. And Wilkin and I must decide if that challenge is worth the risk. There was one with belly straps. I'd give fair distance to Locke. The blood and piss could fly. <laughs> I will slide a cold spike between your legs. But I will not hurt you. When you feel my pinch, give a bloody scream. Convince your lord that the wedge is inside you. This is the only way I can spare you. He's barbaric. Indeed. What is this? Your pledge. My assurance. A writ that tells how you willingly gave over Sir Gaveston to the barons. When you sign it, you and your lovely brown whore are free to leave. 
I will never sign such a thing. This will do while I'm ripping her soft flesh from her slot. Okay, ready to rags. This tear will make the blood gush. Yet not a drop of blood. <sighs> Remember when our greatest dread was a weak harvest? We're no longer farmers, are they? Yea. I must confess, Vulcan. I am more myself inside this turn towards blood. Thank you. Are you a descendant of the soldiers blessed by Christ? You were a soldier? Yes. The choice of an angry boy. And the priest whose choice was that? A man. Anger replaced by remorse. How can I ease your spiritual distress, Father? Will you tell us where the Seraphim hides? The boy doesn't know the woman, our Templar. Return him to his village. We will release the child unharmed after you lead us to the Seraphim. You have my word. Take you to the healer and to Scarred Knight. We must leave this place. A darker journey lies ahead. Where is Bynes? Yes, 
leave us. Little Midas, I'm surprised that you blindly follow that flock of noble sheep. Well, am I really following them, dear Piers? Do not give up hope on my ability to turn a new page. Please, enlighten my troubled mind. It seems my tongue only loosens when my cock rests in a handsome mouth. Yes. I'm sure it does. French bitch. Could you find the priest? I am sorry, Baroness, but Father Ruskin nor the boy are anywhere in the castle or court. Where would the priest take the boy? He often travels to villages within our shire to say mass and offer sacraments. That service is done at the month's end, and always with my knowledge. My lady, should I alert the captain of the guard? No. I will wait till the end of the day. Let us hope it was a sudden and joyful adventure. She is settled now that she's with her mother. Yes. Where's Luca? Fishing. The priest took him on an outing. Fishing? An odd venture for a priest. But we're not Jesus' disciples, fishermen. He thought they were carpenters. Well, like the priests, they were men who returned home at a day's end. So has sleep and the touch of an innocent given you a clear mind? Yay. Hold to your truth about my husband. If you can offer proof of your promise. Proof? Forgive me, Baroness, but I have seen the whims of nobles ruin many a lives. How am I to know that you will truly keep your word in care of my children? There is no decree that can be written for our understanding, Jessamy. You have my word in the presence of God and your child. of a good mother. Good girl. 
Fine day for justice. Indeed. How did you come to know that the two-faced Earl of Pembroke was securing the puffed-up worm? We turned over the right rock. <laughs> and I believe he will keep but one face now that he has sworn allegiance. You do me and all of England honor, good Chamberlain. Thank you, sir. It was mostly the efforts of my valiant men. That is bonded by the Royal Bank of Windsor. Good as silver. Your funds will arrive by month's end. Shall we hold a court then, Sir Corbett? It would be the fair and honorable thing to do. Sir Piers Gaveston, first Earl of Cornwall. You stand before us accused of treason. Guilty of deceitful and malicious counsel to Edward II, King of England. You willfully disregarded a decree of immediate continental exile, thereby condemning yourself to be known as a public enemy to all of England. You make a mockery of law. Those here present who find Sir Gaveston guilty of said charges say to it, I. Speaking in proxy for Lowry Love Ventress, Baroness of Ventreshire, I. I. An undisputed verdict. That we'd be remembered as a martyr who stood against your diplomatic charade. A clear voice singing the truth above a choir of ignorance! Oh. I, Guy de Beauchamp, the 10th Earl of Warwick, sentence thee, Sir Piers Gaveston, to death by beheading. My blade has the weight to make quick work of it. You know the swing of your sword best. I give you the honor. I only carry the banner of our shire, good earl. I am not a titled noble. You pathetic ravens. All bluster and pomp. Wanting my head, but to frighten the truth may find its way to Edward. And he will surely take the head of the man who takes mine. I expect this weakness from you, Beauchamp. You call that a decorated warrior? It seems a tiny baroness has bigger balls than you. Know, this would be a job for an executioner, would it not? There are too many eyes witness to this kill. Gaveston is right. Let's go get back to the king. And Lady Love needs her chamberlain. Carry on, executioner. I do not regret loving someone above my status. Even if this is the fate. Where's the boy? By the hearth, unharmed. Did your master tell you what I did in the service of the king's army? Well, he should have. Oh. I was an assassin. <clears throat> Gun <laughs> 
around, lad? Yes. Must be a warrior priest. This will settle many of our accounts and put us on much firmer ground. Thank you, Milas. I'm in your debt. It is my duty and my honor to serve you, Lady Love. May I ask what troubles you, my lady? Father Ruskin and Master Gawain's son, Luca, have been missing for two days now. The boy was in the priest's charge. Our priest made no mention of a pilgrimage? No. His belongings and steed are all still here. I will gather our resources at once, my lady. Scouts, trackers. We will leave with the sunrise. Thank you. Does Maddox know about the boy? No. He does not. Perhaps it would be best... If you were to tell him, my lady, your grace and calm manner bring much comfort to our punisher. He seems a different man when he is near you. Yes. I would like to be the one to tell Master Gawain. Good night, my lady. Good night, Chamberlain. I spoke to our Chamberlain. Yea, our mission found us a proper course. So Gaveston will no longer plague our Shire. Or any Shire. I am so relieved you have returned unharmed, Wilkin. As I am relieved, no more harm has scratched his way at you, my love. <laughs> she sleeps quite peacefully. Yes. She's come to accept the truth of her husband. Tried for months to break through to her. I have promised the wife of Maddox that I would provide for her and her children. But the priest and the boy are nowhere to be found. It appears they've been gone for nearly two days. Ruskin gave no word of it. Hmm. If she wakes to find the boy still gone, she will think I have deceived her, Wilkin. It will shatter her fragile state of calm. Anora, the priest was with her at the North Coast. Did he? Hmm. Why was the priest with Anora? 
story that is yet to be told to me. Fear not, my love. We will find them. to come see you at the coast. Yes. About the priest and the boy. What do you know? They were taken. Because of me. Because of you? See, Wilkin. There are things you are still not ready to learn. I don't need your lessons. Who took them? I do not know. Sit, Wilkins. I do not need to sit and listen to another parable woman. This is not about my damned holy destiny. I did not know the boy was with the priest. Oh, you did not know. The all-seeing healer. You didn't know I'd be slicing heads and noses, spilling blood by the buckets, turning stout men into crying girls by the pain of hideous devices. Please do not howl at me with such anger. I don't anger. howl like a devil. I'm weighed in unforgivable sins.